So I was growing up in a village in the mountain where there was no running water, there was no electricity, and there was an outhouse. <laughs> and I grew up with 10, were 10 siblings. But I was thinking last night without anything that the most, I know why my soul went there. Because what I got, oh, that's, the people in the village were not the most educated. They were not educated. So what happened, they had their unlearned wisdom, their psychic, they were natural. I remember as a little girl, I grabbed on to that. And I thought, I grabbed on because they were keeping my soul alive into that understanding. That, okay. So you said something that triggered a memory. Yes. Of a conversations that I've had. And I, in my own path, I've learned that I've out on my own path of seeking wisdom, I've realized how much I've had to unlearn everything I'd been taught. And I forgot where I heard this or where it came up most, but the secret to great wisdom is unlearning. And if and the analogy or the picture that was being painted were talk was what you were talking about, living in villages and living essentially off the grid, away from technology, away from the evolution or all, you know, the new, we have a new, we're going into the fourth industrial revolution now and actually we're already in it. But yet the further advance we get from technology, the further we get from what our original design and creation was supposed to be. Exactly. Can, can you exactly. speak on that? Because I have zero wisdom about this subject, but I it sounds like you know a lot about it. And no, I don't know. I'm I'm going to let my inner being speak because I don't know about it, but I do know from my own experiences is that there's a wisdom, there's a knowingness, there's a God self. I, you know, I'm going to call it all those. It's, there's a divine self or a divine spark that already is in that sacredness of consciousness that, that this soul is directly connected to the divine. And that's where the wisdom comes from. The truth of it all, when one expresses itself from that place, needs no education. It already has the wisdom to speak. And the more we unveil the clutter and all the conditioning from the outer world, the more we get to that place of simplicity and peace. It's not anywhere outside of that. It's here within all of us. I, said, I believe that too. My awakening, real awakening, started, I was reading the Bible, and I was reading Genesis 6. And as I was saw the word pineal, I immediately heard in my head, the Garden of Eden is the brain. Like what? The Garden of Eden is the brain. And so that I thought you got to confirm this if this is real. Like if I'm supposed to go research this and figure it out, I need you to confirm. And then confirmation after confirmation. So I went out and researched. That path opened my eyes, my heart, my soul, my mind, and everything else that you can imagine. And I finally became spiritually free because my relationship with God never got, I, well, had never been better at, from that point on. But the difference was I was in this box of religion, even though I'm like, I'm not religious, I'm not this, I'm not that, still had religious tendencies. And that for me began this breaking completely free in realizing the connection to God that I need is here, nowhere else. I mean, yes, it's everywhere. It's in the yes. trees, it's in the flowers, it's in the grass, it's in you, it's in me. It was convicting. Here was the craziest thing about it. 
like where we think about religious rules and regulations and dogma and everything. And yet that can feel like punishment and that can feel like, you know, I'm being punished or I can feel, but the most convicting experience of my life was realizing how much God really was inside of me in the way that I act, the way that I treat my body, myself, the way I treat other people, all of a sudden that realization really impacted me on a way that religion never could. And I became more responsible for my actions in that moment as well. There was no more devil. There was no more, I mean, look, there, there could be, I mean, I can experience heaven now, so I'm not worried about afterlife heaven. And I'm not worried about hell because I'm not going there. But all of that shifted for me and changed. And it was very empowering because now all of a sudden, the responsibility was really on me. I get to be grateful to our creator, but as far as my actions and co-creating with God, our creator, all of that changed for me. Can you? I totally, you know? sorry, totally get it. Because we have been so conditioned. This is where the essence of who we are was covered over. We are being taught how to be out in the world. We are being taught the value of life is out there. Education, money, being seen, being known, and all of that. And which religion is right and which one is wrong. Mm -hmm. There's always right and wrong. 